The Sims 4 Life and Death reveal trailer was released this morning. As expected, this was something they announced in the roadmap. And I actually appreciate them giving you the dates ahead of time. So that you can kind of have an idea of what to expect going forward in roadmaps. It was a really cute two minute countdown trailer where you saw Grimm. He was typing and other random Sims kind of like walked in front of frame. Just from this view, you can see the window decor. It looks like there's broken or punched out windows and some sort of an office with black bookcases, new desk. And in the corner there on the right side, new candle and then a new crow stand thing. I don't know how to explain that. But that was an interesting way to count down for the actual trailer that released in 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll do a deep dive video to go through frame by frame the actual trailer. So the trailer itself is about three minutes and four seconds. And it reveals so much. So just from the first glances going really, really quick, we were able to see tarot card readings, crow on the stand, funerals, the option to pour out a drink at the funeral. I don't know if that's like a sign of showing respect for something. Reading of a will, graveyards, uh, releasing ghosts to the next realm, family portrait like it seemed like there's a lot more family gameplay because even kids seem like they were able to respond in a way to the funerals they didn't get to a lot of details um there's gonna be an actual gameplay trailer on october 17th so we'll get a little bit more detail at that point but the description below the youtube video says achieve your dreams by taking off items on your bucket list or pursuing them as a ghost with unfinished business. There are a new ghastly world to haunt, a career that will bring you closer to Grimm, wills to write, crypts to explore, and even ghostly skills to master. There's no real endings, only transitions as you move between life, afterlife, and rebirth. So hopefully we get a pre-pack patch that does some updates for Ghost. Because, you know, ghosts are going to be a big part of gameplay in this expansion pack as well. We'll get more details, like they said, on October 17th in the actual gameplay trailer. But so far, I'm actually really liking how this looks. And I'm really excited to see more. Let me know in the comments below what did you think of this morning's trailer. And what are you hoping to see from the gameplay trailer?